Hello Traveller and welcome to the Duelist Theatre. I'm back from a bit of a break competing in Season 2 of the Cat's Tail Gathering Tournament and I'm thrilled to say that I ended up making the Top 16. I'll be hard at work of course practicing for the knockout matches, but in the meantime, I'm going to share with you the deck I use to beat the current meta, so that you can as well. As you might already know, the top deck currently is Finale, Fischl, Nahida, Lini. With a combination of individually strong characters, great reactions, and of course the magic engine with Gilded Dreams, this deck puts out a lot of damage very fast and is very difficult for a lot of decks to deal with. But knowing this deck would be popular, I chose a deck that is particularly strong against it, Seahorse Yao Yao Lini. And I was pretty rewarded because I did play this exact matchup six times during the tournament and was able to win every single one of those games. So how does the deck work? Well, the first thing you might notice is that we have the same elements as Finale, so we get access to the same powerful reactions. However, instead of using the high damage characters Fischl and Nahida, we instead go for equally strong defensive characters like Seahorse and Yao Yao. And common to both decks, we have Linny as our strong anchor. The main edge we get over Finale is Seahorse's ability to absorb one damage from a summon for free every turn. In this matchup, Oz is almost certainly guaranteed to be on the field for the whole game, which effectively means Seahorse gets to start with 12 HP, which is exactly what you want against an aggressive deck. Not only that, we are getting a free card every round thanks to Seahorse's passive as well. Otherwise, the deck looks pretty similar running its own magic engine, but we also have more ways to generate long-term value with artifacts like Veteran's Visage. Playing the deck is pretty simple. Most games you'll want to start on Yao, use her skill, and then swap to Seahorse. From here, depending on your dice on your hand, you can either skill right away or just ramp and skill the next round. The most important thing to keep in mind, make sure that you do end on Seahorse so you get to draw that card. It's pretty important to have the deck functions. For round two, you can either build to Seahorse first if you need to refresh its armor, or you can go to Linny for prop arrow and start setting up the Pyro Summon. Either way, ideally you end again on Seahorse in round two to draw that extra card and soak up that summon damage. And past that, you can start to be more aggressive on Linny or build towards Yao Yao's burst if you need to play a little bit more defensively. Of course, while we focused a lot on Finale, another reason I chose this deck is that it plays well into a lot of the other matchups in the current metagame as well. For example, you're a little unfavored against Yilan OTK combo decks, but I was able to win that matchup a few times in the preliminaries. It's really a fun deck to play, and I love that it makes use of Yao Yao, who hasn't seen much play up until this point. I do want to mention this deck wasn't my own idea, I actually borrowed it for the tournament, so shout out to Kevin Z, Glasse, and Juslin from the GITCG community who were the ones that worked on and refined the list, though the list in the description has a few of my own tweaks. For today's feature match, we are going to be watching one of the games against Finale from the preliminaries, and it was recorded via replay so it's going to go by pretty fast, so we'll be pausing at important moments to talk about strategy. But let's see the deck in action, let's duel! Okay, so diving into the match, we're going to win the coin toss, which is always nice in a fast meta like this. So pausing real quick on the opening hand, Lucky Dog is a great card to have later on, and so is Food, uh, but we're not going to want that in the early game. We're also going to want to put away that Joyous Celebration. It's good in other matchups, but round one and two, it's not that useful against Finale because they're mostly applying Electro, which you can't cleanse on Seahorse, and Dendro. So we're going to keep one Hash Brown though, you really want the extra food. And we drew really well here going into Yayoi and Dunyazad. So I'm certainly going to lead off with that. But as expected, uh, similar openings from both sides. We have Fischl and we are going to start on Yao Yao. Getting that summon down provides about as much value as Fischl's does defensively with that heal. But let's see what we get off of this Dunyazad. Hoping for a Liban, but instead get a Paimon. Unfortunately, our dice aren't going to work out quite well enough for us to go on Paimon. So instead, ideally, I would be looking to ramp round one. But just because of our dice, I don't want to have to tune one, so I'm going to instead equip Gilded here, get the right dice to just skill on Seahorse, and go a little bit more aggressive. Um, but typically, I think you do want to ramp. And we can see our opponents are going to have a similar start to us, both get, finding our Gilded pretty early. But here's where going first kind of is starting to add up, and that Lyosong draw is really good. And you can see the incremental advantage here. We're getting one extra card than them, and soaking up an extra damage every round from the summon. And we do see that Veterans draw a little bit late. I would have loved to have started off with Veterans, but so far our draw is looking really good. We have that Chef Mao as well that we can play. Food is a really big component of this deck, uh, especially with Veterans, of course, giving you dice when you heal. Now, I'm going to do something cool here. I'm going to reset the Gilded onto Linny, who is going to be our finisher, uh, just with extra dice. But I really want Veterans on Seahorse. Again, Seahorse tanks the most damage and is the one who gets the most food, so it's the best wearer of that uh, equipment. 
And you can see here, the, the deck is very much a mid-range deck. You can apply a lot of pressure early on just using skills, right? Nahida's already down to one. She's actually not going to get to burst because we went first. So we're going to finish off Nahida here with our own burst. Unfortunately, not able to refresh any armor stacks, but that's okay. We're already at a significant advantage here. But opponent does have I Haven't Lost Yet. So they are going to be able to Lini Burst next round. So they're trading quite well with us uh, so far. Now, normally I would want to end on Seahorse, but uh, pausing real quick, if you look at the summons, right, if even if Seahorse absorbs that one extra damage, because of that Nahida Seed, that is going to be just enough damage to take out Seahorse. And I really don't want to lose Seahorse just yet because, you know, getting that Electra application is pretty useful. So instead, I'm going to want to tank the damage on Linny. Uh, this could be a mistake in the long run. You'll see I end up taking a lot of damage here as we unpause. But one thing this does do is it leaves me completely reactionless or uh, out of elemental applications uh, at the start of the next round. And just use up the last dice here for pizza. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get that heal. So I'm throwing away a little bit of value here, but we're already really far ahead because our opponent didn't get to Nahida burst. Part of that was also them going, uh, us going first instead of them. But the matchup also is pretty good, even if uh, Finale gets to go first. So you can see here, putting out a lot of damage, but we're really quite even. <clears throat> and that Lucky Dog draw is going to end up being very huge. It's one of the best artifacts, I think, against Finale, especially in the late game. They don't have a lot of ways to heal. So if you can drag out the game and then let uh, Visage and Lucky Dog build up value, it's really good. So here, just going to go for the skill. And I, of course, don't want to equip Lucky Dog just yet, because I really want to get hit on Seahorse here to generate that extra die. And here we go. Of course, Oz coming back down. Again, the game's still really close just because of how uh, low my characters are, right? One Overload could take out each of my characters here, so they're going to go to Linny. And I'm playing Limey here just to see what I draw. And that is pretty huge. Uh, fortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to use it here. But yeah, things are going by very quickly, but you see that I equipped Lucky Dog with my existing Yayoi and I had to tune two. So I'm starting to run lower cards, but part of the reason I can tune so aggressively is that I've been drawing extra cards off of Seahorse and the other cards as well. But Linny is going to be pushing me onto my own Linny here. And now that we're both out of dice, luckily because I ended first, that Mushroom Pizza is going to save my own Linny from being taken out by this Overload here. But yeah, you can see it's still pretty close right now. We're both pretty even, uh, but there is one important play that is coming up. But let's see if I roll well here, which I believe I rolled okay. Yeah, getting some Omni here. Okay, so one important thing, I'm, I have that hash brown in hand. You know, who do I hash in this case? I have a lot of options. It's almost certainly not Linny, so it's going to be Seahorse, and I can get an extra die, or I can hash Yao Yao. Uh, I end up hashing Yao Yao here, which works up really well because putting Yao Yao at 6 means that Linny's skill can no longer take her out. Uh, and he's kind of forced to burst, and that leaves me with an opportunity to get Yao Yao's burst off. Which, this late in the game, as you'll see, Yao Yao's burst ends up doing a lot of healing. So I end up hashing Yao Yao here, which I quite like. And I didn't need to reset the Gilded here, but I think I was nervous about losing one of my characters at some point, and I want to get that Gilded value but that wasn't too important here. And now, unfortunately, the skill here was a misplay. I definitely should have normal attacked, because uh, the skill probably isn't going to matter. The game is almost certainly going to end too quickly. But I do get that Yaya burst off, and able to trigger Quicken as well. So really efficient reactions can be coming out. But I'm baiting them into this Yaya kill. And of course, that swap lets me uh, fire off one of those uh, things right away. And see, if I had normal attack, Linny would already be dead here, and the game would not have been close at all. But as it was, that Lucky Dog is going to just take over the game here. And this egg is kind of clutch. It's going to let them survive another round. But honestly, Yayo Burst is like a really good counter to egg, because anytime they take out one of your own characters, you can just swap and take someone out. So like here, the Overload ends up popping the uh, Lotus, and the Yayo Summon even takes Linny out of range of Fischl's normal attack. So this is looking really good for me. It's <laughs> still pretty close. I mean, there could be some cards in my opponent's hand uh, that could take me out here, but you know, I think they already used their Arcane Legend, so I'm not worried about Fresh Wind. But I do have a Tandori, which does end up taking out Linny. But, you know, characters on 1 HP are no match for Yayo's burst, as it's going to come up 
And then Seahorse is going to be able to clean up here, no problem. And GG. And despite a few misplays on our end, you saw just how effective the deck is at tanking the damage from Finale. One important thing to note, if you are going second, make sure you have some kind of food like Lotus or Hash Brown in order to tank Nahida's burst, otherwise Seahorse will get taken out. Other than that, if you have a friend who loves using Finale or is just sick of losing to it in co-op, definitely give this deck a try. And let me know how it goes for you. And if you're one of my knockout competitors watching this video, I'm definitely not using this deck. Or am I? If you are a newer player, be sure to attend the TCG 101 series to level up your Genius Invocation game. If there's anything you'd like to see in an upcoming video, drop a comment and I'll see how I can help. Be sure to enroll in our courses by subscribing so you can be notified when a new lesson's available. Until then, class dismissed!